Get secure, damn it! Okay, so by now you probably read, heard, or maybe blogged about our, you know, Final Fantasy VII, the Crisis Core review, the one where we gave him a two, and apparently no one else saw the game for what we saw for, which was not a very good game, unless you really are into Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> So, of course, we've been getting email after email. We get post after post calling us that we've lost our credibility and that we don't know how to review games and that we're stupid. I believe my sexuality was questioned and something about my mother. I, I don't care much about that. But there's one type of comma that kept on being repeated that really stuck in my craw. And this is what it was. People kept on saying, well, you know, you're completely out of step with all the other reviewers. What the f***? Come on, what do you think we do? We call each other up on the phone and say, hey, are you giving it a four? Are you giving it a five? Are you giving it an 8.7.2? Well, okay, I'll make sure that I'm within a couple of points of that so we all look like we're f***ing unanimous. Come on, think about it for a second. If you guys only expect game reviews to be of exactly the same quality and numerical value or whatever that is, then why don't we just all quit our jobs and we have this one dude and we call him the reviewer. <laughs> And then he can tell you what you seem to have already found out for yourself, which is that you like the game, which makes you even wonder what's such a big deal about us not liking the game in our own right. I mean, really, there's something that really bothers me a lot about people and how they read reviews and how they respond to them. They clearly have already bought the game. They've already formed an opinion about the game, and it tends to be a very strong one. And then when they read an opinion that might be equally as strong but contrary to theirs, they suddenly take offense. As if I went to their house, pointed at their mom, and said, she's fat. That's not what happened there. You clearly are very satisfied with this game, so what the hell does what I say have to do with anything? Really, it's almost as if the reviews are some way in which you feel more secure about yourself and the opinion that you've developed. And if that's the case, that's a little sad. Because if you're going to go out on boards and say that I'm a racist, and you're going to say that I don't know how to review a game after I've been doing it for 10 years, and you really just need that review so you can feel that you've been justified to the rest of your friends who may not like the game, that the game you have is a good game and your opinion is right, well, that's just kind of sad. And I really hope that you don't go to college.